So one of the main kind of issues we've been dealing with in our country is alternate energy sources. And in 2003, uh, President Bush kind of announced this program to look at hydrogen uh, fuel cells in particular, the hydrogen storage economy. Um, the main kind of focus of that is in terms of using them on board automobiles. And right now, our main approach is with uh, hydrogen tanks. So tanks on a car, however, are really heavy and have the potential for to be very, very explosive. Um, so other directions that may be interesting to take the research are looking at chemical storage materials for hydrogen. So this is kind of looking at if we have hydrogen attached to molecules and ways to release it for use in the automobiles. Um, the main focus of my group is looking at uh, this chemical called ammonia borane, and it's a H3NBH3 uh, molecule, and we've chosen it because it has high hydrogen weight percent. So there's a potential for a big amount of release from kind of a very lightweight molecule. Um, the way we kind of, the apparatus we use to look at this um, molecule is this burette system here. We've attached a flask that allows uh, the gas to uh, move through this um, apparatus and be collected um, and measured. And we can measure points as quickly as every three seconds because the main goal is to release as, release as much hydrogen as quickly as possible. So the initial kind of approach to using this it was to just heat it on its own and when we did that it was kind of quite slow so if you can imagine getting in your car and having to wait you know, two to three hours before being able to go anywhere. Um, by kind of using this apparatus we've been able to combine it with solvents um, or other chemical additives to really increase the rate so we've been able to kind of see release rates as much as you know uh, quite a bit in under 10 minutes. All right. Okay. Uh, so the Buret system is hooked up to a computer here, and we have a program that allows us to measure the equivalent amounts of hydrogen coming off. So this green line represents the hydrogen being produced. Uh, right now, after about an hour, we have almost one equivalent of hydrogen produced from the ammonia borane. So the system that's currently running isn't our best system, but it kind of shows how we can record the amount of hydrogen coming off. Uh, my name is Emily Berkeley, and I work for Dr. Snedden's group, uh, fourth year at UPenn University.